Hello everyone, my name is Jonah from Baskell, and today I will be showing you the new control net models inside of Diffuse AE version 1.4. I just have a simple 1024 by 1024 composition with nothing in it. So to start, I'll just show you the models in here. If we just make a simple solid layer and add Diffuse AE, we can see there are two new models here, control net scribble and control net canny. So these models work a little bit differently than the other models that we had before. You still provide a prompt and it generates an image, but the input that you give initially is not actually used as a starting point for the generated image, like in the other models. The input image is more like instructions for how the generated image should look or be laid out. And that'll make more sense as we go on. So just to start, I'm gonna delete this, diffuse AE, and I'm gonna pre-comp this footage by just dragging it into the new composition button in the project panel. And I'll call this one the work comp. And we can go back to the pre-comp footage. I'm gonna double click on that solid layer to open up the layer panel. And if it opens up here, you can just drag it over so you can see them both. And then I will lock the layer panel. I'll go back to my work comp. I'll lock the composition panel and then I'm also gonna lock the effect control panel here. So if we go and add Baskell Diffuse A, I'm gonna start by showing you the control net scribble model. So what this expects as an input is a black background with a scribble in white, like a children's drawing type thing. Although that's not the only thing you could use as an input. You could use simple line art, simple black and white clip art, anything represented even abstractly as in a simple drawing as white lines on a black background. So just to start, I'm gonna actually disable Diffuse A so it's not lagging. And I'll grab the brush tool. Remember this layer is the black solid in the pre-comp. So I can just draw right on it here. And the default prompt doesn't really make sense for this one. So, I mean, you could scribble that, but I want to be a little bit more creative and maybe choose like a glass of juice with eyes, comma, photo. Random little idea for a prompt. And then I'll try drawing that in my amazing art style here. Give that cup some eyes. And then re-enable Diffuse AE. And kind of worked here. It also kind of made basil leaves instead of eyes, but I'll try changing the seed and see if that helps. Yeah, that reflects my prompt a lot better. You can also experiment with different size limits. I often find the control net models work well at 512 and 768, and often not quite as well at 1024 and above. Although sometimes it works, we'll see here what 1024 looks like with this seed. So actually it looks pretty all right here. I mean, it's a glass with eyes, there's no juice, but sometimes it ends up looking completely deformed. So it's, it's worth experimenting and just seeing what works. I'm just gonna go back to something like 512 here. Okay, so that's control net scribble. For now I'm gonna disable diffuse A, unlock the effect control panel, I'll close the layer panel and unlock the comp panel. Go back into a pre-comp. I'm gonna show you the next model, which is Canny. So what ControlNet Canny expects as an input is a Canny Edge image, which here's an example from Wikipedia. It's basically an image where there's a black background and there's a white line along any edges. So an edge is like an area where the blob of pixels that is generally the same color changes to a different color. And there's a way to do that inside of After Effects, and we've actually included it. So when you download the zip from A scripts for Diffuse A, you can see it includes this Diffuse A convert to canny.ffx file. To install it on Mac or Windows, you just go to your user documents folder, Adobe, your version of After Effects, user presets, and then just drag it in there. To get it to show up, you might have to right click on effects and presets and refresh list. You also might actually have to restart After Effects. Sometimes it can be kind of finicky. So to demonstrate how this works, I have this picture of a dog. I'm gonna drag it into the pre-comp, and then I'll just scale it down. And then grab the selection tool and move it a little bit. So to add the Candy Edge preset, I'm just gonna to go to Effects and Presets, search up Diffuse A, see that Convert to Candy preset, we'll drag that onto the clip. And it's not really important to know what all these do, you can go through them if you'd like. But the basic idea is you modify brightness and contrast until it looks about right. You can turn up the resolution so we can see it a little better. 
we basically want it to look like there's a pretty solid white line everywhere where there's a meaningful edge. So that looks pretty good to me. If we go back to the work comp, we can choose control net canny. And I'll try to think of a prompt that might fit this image a little bit better. Be interesting to see if it could turn it into some other animal. Maybe if we say a lion sitting on a chair photo. We'll try that. So it kind of got the idea there. It's not too bad. It got the right place to put the face and the legs, or the front legs at least. You can try maybe a different seed. That one doesn't look good at all. Neither does that one. Although it kind of got the right idea. Nor does that one. This one looks kind of interesting. So I'm going to try adjusting the brightness and contrast settings again. And actually, I'll even add a curves afterwards, just to increase that contrast a little bit. This isn't often necessary, but it might be helpful in some cases. And here it is getting the idea pretty all right. I can try some other seeds. All right. So I thought this seed was kind of interesting. It, of course, is misinterpreting what these lines actually are in the underlying image, but I still think it's pretty cool. It definitely got the lion in the right position. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you to learn how to use these two new models in Diffuse A 1.4. If you found it useful, I'd appreciate your feedback. If you have any questions or suggestions or anything, please reach out on Discord. You can find the Baskell Discord in the description and also on the A Script sales page. We'd love to hear from you. And everyone out there, you matter. Please take care of yourself because you deserve it. You really, really do.